Hey guys, welcome to another Reaper blog tutorial. I had this idea of taking found sound percussion and mapping it across a keyboard and then playing it with an arpeggiator. I've gone ahead and recorded just pen clicks and snaps and things like that as some source material to try this out. And so now we're going to chop these up. And I would use dynamic split for this, but I was having a little trouble getting this right. And although I'm not that picky about it, I think it's easier uh, in the end just to do it myself, just using shortcuts, basic editing techniques. I'm splitting close to the transient and pressing S to split, or I'm pressing A to trim the start. And I click here, press S, and go here, and press A to trim that. And then we're going to turn these all into individual, individual samples so that we can load them into any sampler. For this tutorial, I'll use contact because it's so easy to drag and drop your samples in and either map them across velocity or map them across keys with stretching if you need that. It follows velocity automatically. So to make new files from these split items, uh, there's many different ways of doing it, but I'm gonna do it this way. Right click, render items as new take. So that's process them all. And I've got the original file that's cut up and I have all the individual files there. And now we're going to insert a virtual instrument like contact. Contact's really easy for doing this. And I'm going to double click to make a new instrument. Go to the wrench icon to go to the editor, go to the mapping editor. So I've got my mapping editor open. I go to the uh, media explorer and I just click on project directory again to show um, all of my items that are here. Shift click to select them all. I've got 19 samples and I'll drag them onto the uh, mapping area. And if you pull up and down, that shows uh, or it changes how many keys each sample is going to be mapped to. And we want it on just one. And I'll put it on C1. So I've got almost two octaves of samples there. And they automatically map to, um, or the, the velocity scales automatically, which is great. And now to activate the arpeggiator, we can go to script editor and we can go to uh, presets, factory, it's in sequencing and arpeggiator. And now just put your hand down on some random keys and we get a pattern. And we can change the rate easily here. So I like a eighth note triplet. We can change the pattern. I have two hits on each sample. Uh, let's hear that really fast. So I think you can probably take this idea and apply it to uh, other things. So let's say you don't want to use the arpeggiator in contact. We can go into the effects browser, go to JS and type in MIDI and it will come up with a few other options here. Uh, one of them MIDI arpeggiator and we just put this not after contact but before contact and it's basically going to do the same sort of thing. We just play a key or multiple keys and it will uh, create our pattern. 
So we'll probably want this on two. Setting this to two will make that eighth notes. And we can change the patterns. There's not as many patterns to choose from here. And we can also change the velocity. We can set it to a specific velocity for everything that we play. Or if it's set to zero, it will use what was played. So you can do very soft or hard hits. So this is a good option if you don't have contact or uh, the sampler that you're using doesn't have an arpeggiator built in. So I think this experiment worked. I'm probably not the first person to think of this, but it was, this was just something that came to me last night. And I wanted to try it out and uh, share the idea with you guys. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support on Patreon. And visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.